Hi, I'm Jason and welcome to Dosatron University. Today, Dosatron's service and maintenance video series features how to service the Dosatron D25 RE2 11 GPM injector. Before we start, make sure the injector is clicking. If not, please watch the D25 RE2 troubleshooting video. To service your D25 RE2 injector, you will need the seal kit, a number two Phillips head screwdriver. To begin, unscrew the suction hose nut and remove the suction hose. Unscrew the four screws at the base of the injection stem. Pull the injection stem straight out from the body of the injector. Set the blue body aside. Unscrew and remove the check valve bar and remove the check valve seal. Unscrew the lock nut and slide the anti-lock ring down and remove. Then carefully pry the check valve assembly down and out of the stem. Discard the old check valve seal and assembly. Unscrew and remove the adjusting nut. Then remove the metal retainer by sliding it straight down. Push the white injection stem up and out of the black sleeve and discard. While holding the black sleeve, remove and replace the sleeve o-ring. Next, align the groove in the new white stem with the tooth inside the lower portion of the black sleeve and slide the stem down as far as possible. Slide the metal retainer to the top of the black sleeve and thread the adjusting nut back onto the sleeve. Install the anti-lock ring by aligning the teeth inside the ring with the grooves in the white stem. Slide it up and thread on the lock nut hand tight. Now you can reinstall the new check valve assembly into the stem. Place the new check valve seal with the groove facing upward into the new check valve barb and thread it onto the white stem and hand tight. Pick up the blue unit and remove the plunger seal by pinching and rolling it off the plunger. Install the new seal into the groove on the plunger. If the white plastic retainer slides down, just reposition it with the slender part up into the body like this. To finish up, align the four holes in the metal retainer with the holes in the body. Place the screws into the body and position the scale on the stem to face outward and tighten the screws in the star pattern. Before installing the suction hose, inspect it. If it flares out, cut an inch or so off and reinstall or if the suction hose is cracked, rigid, or looks really old, just replace it. Now, thread the suction hose nut onto the hose. Slide it onto the barb and hand tighten the nut. Make sure to set the injector to your desired setting. We hope this video has been helpful in servicing your D25 RE2 11 GPM injector. For more information, give us a call at 800-523-8499 or visit us online at dosatronusa.com. To see our other videos, check out our YouTube channel or see the video page on our website. I'm Jason and this is Dosatron University.